uh, last year, last year we started a new tradition at this conference, which was to rec we started a new tradition last year, which was to recognize faculty who have been doing something especially interesting and innovative and uh, uh, with their teaching uh, with technology. And um, Aperva Mehta is going to present some of the awards and Phil DeSalvio, the Dean of University College, is going to present uh, to others. Bef for a purpose stat, so I wanted to just quickly say Jessica Downer's name was inadvertently left off the list of planning committee members, and I wanted to recognize the fact that she was part of the planning process. So. Thank you, Ellie. Um, so by the time, uh, we'll wait about a minute or so. Uh, sometimes technology takes some time to warm up, so. Um, Nothing is instant these days, although we'd love it to be. Um, so by the time it's warming up, let me uh, say thank you again for coming. My name is Apur Rametha. I work in IT, in educational technology and client services. Um, I work in IT, but I work for you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm here to um, help the faculty as much as we can in the use of technology in, in teaching and learning. And if there's anything we can do to help um, sort of get you in that in that path. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, so we do have two awards, uh, two from um, sort of IT face-to-face -face, uh, courses, and we have two uh, uh, two awards from um, the online or from University College. We need to press. Great, thanks, John. Um, so, so we have two awards, as I'd mentioned. Um, the first one is an award that goes um, for the leadership in technology, um, leadership in teaching with technology. Um, sorry about that. Um, and that, and that award, uh, the first one goes to Linnell Thomas. We do have an iPad for you, Linnell, so. Good. I'm sure this is a mistake, but I'm still taking it. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a few words to uh, say uh, about Linnell, so um, if you can bear with me for a minute. So Linnell Thomas, uh, Associate Professor of American Studies, has been contributing to innovative teaching, faculty development, and the use of educational technology on campus in several ways. As a teacher, Linnell, has, has worked to integrate the effective use of Blackboard into her web enhanced sections, working with the EdTech instructional designers to bring new elements into her courses over time, and has become especially adept at using journals, blogs, and threaded discussions to support different aspects of her student work. She has also designed thoughtful rubrics to guide student participations, and she feels that students, through their sharing on Blackboard, serve as an inspiration for one another. She describes herself as a learner acquiring new understandings through discovery and experimentation. Linnell has also worked with the library to create research library guides for her courses. A current project which she has shared in a session this morning involves the online databases, history engine to integrate traditional pedagogy and digital technology. Using these tools has helped her to guide students through the process of doing history by researching, writing, and publishing historical episodes that make use of primary resources. Linnell has extended her work beyond her own classroom to contribute to the commitment to teaching and learning on this campus in multiple ways. As a member of the Faculty Development Advisory Committee, she has helped to plan and implement a far-reaching faculty development initiative on campus. As an active member of CIT Advisory Board, she has helped to plan forums and conferences and has highlighted the importance of bringing the topic educational technology into our teaching discussions. She herself has offered frequent forum and conference presentations on a variety of topics. 
including engaging learners in web enhanced classes through online discussions and journals. As she served on the planning committee for today's conference, we had to keep this really, really quiet, Lanao, <laughs> <laughs> because we had to accept solicitations from others. So, and it's for these reasons that we'd like to present Lanao Thomas this year's award for leadership in teaching with technology. Thank you. Lanao. Sorry, I was meant to be putting the slide up. <laughs> Poor technology. The second award uh, is for teaching with technology uh, in, the, in the field of innovation and creativity, and that goes to Tracy Brown. Where is Tracy Brown? Tracy, this is a Dell laptop, so oh my it's a small one. <laughs> I have a few things to say, but... Tracy, Tracy has done an amazing job of integrating technology into the courses she teaches and has been a leader in identifying new technology for teaching. As a teacher of English for speaking and listening for ESL students, her goals are to guide students in developing and speaking and listening skills that, that they will need for academic work. She wants them, for example, to acquire and be able to use academic vocabulary to be prepared to participate in class discussions and to un understand and take notes in lectures. To foster these skills, she has been making extensive use of these tools. Very cool. Wiki spaces. And that's an image of that's voice thread, sorry. <laughs> Tracy uses Wikispaces for all her courses. She uses it to post assignments, activities, resources, and a place where students can post their own spoken presentations and respond to each other's. The other tool she uses is VoiceThread. Tracy introduced the campus to VoiceThread, a tool that allows a teacher or student to prepare presentations that incorporate images and voice and let students speak and record their responses to those presentations and to other comments. Her initial effort led the Educational Technology Division to purchase a license for pilot project with other faculty, and now VoiceThread is being used across many modern language courses. We now actually have an extensive license for VoiceThread, so if you'd like to um, use it, I think Mary Simone's the contact. Tracy is constantly discovering and making the use of online multimedia resources. She has her students view and comment on videos from TED Talks, and she asks them to listen to Scientific American 60-second podcasts and create their own. Students use Vocaro, I hope I'm pronouncing that, Vocaro, sorry, to record and listen to themselves, and they create MP3 recordings to share on their own portfolio pages on the wiki. She even offers a link to a site called Karaoke Party. <laughs> Party. She's going to show it. She's going to show it. <laughs> Where they can practice singing their favorite songs in English and have their performance scored by others on the site. We have to show us that. <laughs> Tracy has not only been. One more paragraph. Tracy has only. <laughs> Tracy has not only been in inventive in using these resources to support her teaching, but has been generous in sharing what she's learned with others in various faculty forums, as well as through the VoiceThread pilot project. To learn more about her work in her own words, you can find recordings of her presentation on the CIT EdTech YouTube channel. We have our own channel. And it's for these reasons that we present Tracy Brown Teaching a Technology Award for Innovation and Creativity. I'd like now, uh, I would like now uh, to introduce uh, Phil DeSalvio, the Dean for UC. Thank you. Well, a Perva said there would be a big crowd. I didn't think there would be such a big crowd, a Perva. Congratulations. This is wonderful. Um, I have a special affinity 
for online education. In 1997, I was a uh, graduate director at Seton Hall University in a in a in an on-campus for an on-campus graduate program that I developed. And the president of Seton Hall came to me one day and said, "Phil, there's this thing called the internet out there, <laughs> and would like you to put your master's in healthcare administration program online." And I, I don't know, I probably was a bit arrogant at that point, and I said, what are you talking about? I'm not going to put my prized MHA program online and make it a correspondence course. And he said, Phil, just, you know. So I began learning about online education. And um, fast forward, uh, more than 13 years later, I am an absolute acolyte of online education and electronic mediated learning. Um, it has changed the way I think about myself as a teacher um, and as a learner. And I can't tell you what a high point it has been for me to be involved. It really, at, at almost the very beginning of this thing that has really changed the way students learn and the way teachers teach. Um, number of students in the United States taking online courses, taking at least one online course, is over six million students. We are in the mainstream of higher education, and we continue to, to grow fast. University College takes great pride in being the, the academic unit that um, assists faculty in, um, um, in offering online courses. Um, and those of you faculty out there know our UC staff very well through their assistance and, and supporting your outstanding faculty uh, uh, achievements in online learning. Um, while we work with faculty, and we are, while we are the academic support unit that channels UMass Boston online offerings to our students, we do it in the region, and we do it nationally, and we do it around the world. And this gathering today is about teaching and learning. And, and that's the reason why we're all here. Teaching to me is a calling. We have been called to teaching. And using technology in teaching takes skill and takes engagement and takes commitment. So as the dean of university college, I recognize the hard work that goes into the absolutely fantastic online courses and online offerings we offer. Not only the hard work that the faculty do, but all of those behind the scenes, um, our IT colleagues, um, our instructional design colleagues, um, on all of the other folks that help make this possible. Um, and this conference is, I, I think, emblematic of the kind of commitment UMass Boston has to, to educational technology in teaching. I'd like you to take the big picture for, for a moment. You know, you've been, been digging down, drilling down into the more specifics in, in electronic media education today. But I, I, I want you to take a step back for a minute, and I want you to think about what online education means to our society, to higher education. And I often see. I often see the two equalizers in life as being the internet and education. And think about what we have done as, I think, pioneers in e-learning. Um, we have begun, through our hard work, to empower learners, to bring learning to people instead of people to learning. That's what I think this is about. Um, I think this is about changing the face of higher education. So we recognize two faculty 
um, for their work in using technology and teaching today. Um, we support them. We celebrate with them their achievement here. And we're pleased to award them an iPad as a way of recognizing their work. So I thank Aperva and our instructional design team in choosing these two outstanding faculty members. The first one is Ellen Burshander, the T Teaching and Technology Award. Ellen, where are you? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> now, this is the latest version of the iPad, right? <laughs> it is, Jean. Thank you. It's reconditioned. <laughs> No. You've been the director of management of aging services. Um, and you started at UMass Boston in 2003 in the role of co-director for McCormick uh, gerontology program. And I think we mentioned you in the, um, in the Globe this, this week in terms of certificate programs. Thank you. Yeah, well. <laughs> Throughout the time at UMass Boston, Ellen has provided exemplary service developing the fully online management of aging graduate certificate. And I can tell you I appreciate that because it applies to me even now. <laughs> Ellen has been a change agent who has managed transitions deftly through deep human perception, good humor, self-assured approach to success. Ellen has mastered, did you write this? <laughs> I'm wondering who the good fiction writer is. Has mastered the technologies. Is this all this true? Oh, okay. <laughs> of online course delivery, and she offers her own hard work, one experiences back to community in each of the following notable ways. She's provided veteran faculty members with ongoing professional development opportunities to help them adopt new instructional technologies while recruiting and supporting new faculty. That's a good thing. She's developed student support systems and course delivery models appropriate for the academic program and the student populations, and in her own teaching, Ellen has accepted the benefits and the limitations of technology used in online learning and is great at easing her students with the ease, uh, with the use of new technology. You have been sh generous in sharing with new directors of online programs your long years of experience <laughs> as an online program director. They make you sound old and you don't look it. Well, thank you. It is for these reasons that we are pleased to present to Ellen Burchanda this year's Teaching with Technology Award for Innovation and Creativity in Online Courses. Congratulations. <laughs> now go and teach more online courses. I will do that, but I'm speechless. I think the award should go to the people who achieved that. That's very generous of you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The next award um, for excellence in online teaching goes to Felicia Sullivan. Felicia? Hi, Felicia. Congratulations. Uh, Felicia has taught online courses for three colleges at UMass Boston, College of Public and Community Service. Your esteemed dean is here, the College of Education and Human Development, and the College of Liberal Arts. She has had a long involvement with technology, working with independent media makers, community media centers, and community technology efforts, and hold a master's in media studies, as well as public policy. In CPCS, uh, Felicia served as a curriculum advisor on the core competencies for the community media and technology degree and has taught classes in both media literacy and media and community building in that program, both face-to-face -face and online. She also teaches thinking, learning, and computers for the critical and creative thinking program. Okay. <laughs> and a course on politics by internet for the political science department. That sounds interesting. Her goal are to bring the engagement and connection of the face-to-face -face classroom, the encouragement and support of community education, and the active and independently driven learning from critical, creative, and reflective practice into all her online classes. She wants students to feel like they are part of a learning community, and for them to have the confidence to be in the driver's seat of their own intellectual journey. The education technology instructional designers find her courses to be expertly designed, from a Blackboard Vista standpoint, and note that she also makes use of a variety of other educational support features. 
Their students use the group feature within wiki spaces, and they have their own group voice thread. Her students find her online course materials to be organized and easy to navigate, and her learning methods to be challenging and fulfilling, and they appreciate being exposed to new tools and ways of thinking. And it's for these reasons that we are pleased to present to Felicia Sullivan one of this year's excellence in online teaching awards. Congratulations. Thank Felicia. You very much. Well, I thank you very, very much. Perv, a great job with this conference, and, um, um, and we look forward to University College continuing to support this. Thank you.